What is traffic calming measures? Traffic calming is a kind of speed regulating method in which slow moving pedestrians and bicycles can coexist with regular vehicular traffic. It is also a kind of bringing equilibrium to the system so that no mode can dominate at the expense of others. What is the purpose of traffic calming? Traffic calming measures have various purposes and are described below. Speed reduction. The main purpose of the traffic calming measures is to reduce the speed of fast moving vehicles thereby reducing the risk of potential crashes along the road. Equilibrium among various modes. By implementing these traffic calming measures one can bring equilibrium among various modes of traffic with the reduced speeds of vehicles. Reduce fuel consumption. As the vehicular speed reduces for various modes and increases in bicycle trips and walking there can be significant savings in fuel content. Reduce noise levels and improve air quality. With the reduced speed of vehicles, they will generate fewer noise levels and overall air quality also will get improved. Improve safety slash reduction in accidents or crashes. Strict implementation of traffic calming measures can lead to improve safety and reduce the no of accidents to a greater extent. What are the methods of traffic calming? Traffic calming can be done in various methods based on the availability of space and geometric requirements. Traffic calming with rumble strips. Rumble strips are V-shaped or rounded grooves made to the pavement surface in order to warn the drivers so that they are well aware of the road boundaries. They are one of the safety features of the road in which they create a small vibration or rumbling effect on the driver so that accidents can be avoided. Traffic calming with speed cushion speed humps. Speed humps are generally provided to reduce the incoming vehicle speeds near major conflict points and junctions. This will smoothen the traffic flow easily. Speed cushions are similar to speed humps only but have wheel cut openings for the passing of large size vehicles like buses to pass easily. Various types of speed humps can be used in practice. Circular speed humps. Trapezoidal speed humps. Sinusoidal speed humps. Thumps. Combi humps. H humps. S humps. Traffic calming with chicane crossing. These are mainly used in urban streets and by using the alternate parking spaces, curb extensions, or edge islands to form an S-shaped path of travel which reduces the speed of oncoming vehicular traffic. Creating alternating mid-block curb extensions will create extra turns for the vehicles and thus the maneuvering speed will get reduced. Traffic calming measures with speed tables. They are mainly used on junctions or nodes between arterial roads and access roads connecting them. They work in a similar fashion to speed humps, but they have flat top ranges from 6 to 9 amps. At intersections or mid-blocks, if these are mixed with pedestrian crossings, they are called raised crossings. These raised crossings are mainly used to reduce conflicts between various modes of traffic, pedestrians, and cyclists majorly at junctions, entrances entry and exit for service roads etc. to provide a smooth flow of traffic. Traffic calming measures with gateway entry. Gateway entry simply indicates the drivers that are now entering a buffer zone with lower speeds. This is mainly done at major junctions, school zones, hospital areas and highly crowded places etc. This can be achieved by putting traffic signages, speed tables, speed humps, curb extensions and raised crossings etc. Traffic calming measures with mid-block crossing and central refuge island. Mid-block crossings are generally provided between two junctions to allow pedestrian movements in one place to avoid fatalities. These are most frequently mixed with central refuge islands so that they can accommodate the pedestrians and they can use the marked crosswalks or mid-block crossings when the signals with inductive loop detectors allow them to do. Central refuge islands are generally raised islands placed in the middle of the street so that incoming traffic and the pedestrians get separated and the vehicles will get lesser road space for maneuvering. For deciding the proper location for mid-block crossing some surveys should be conducted that cover details like traffic speeds road width desired lines for pedestrian movements and land use developments along the road. After processing all the information areas that are having high chances for pedestrian movements are most like to be provided with mid-block crossings. Speed limit in traffic calming zone. As per the guidelines of the Government of India, the road speed limit in traffic calming zones range from about 25 km slash to 30 km slash but it can be varied based on the specific locations and purposes that particular junction node is serving. Traffic calming measures in school zones. 
Traffic calming measures are very much important in school zones and this can be achieved by providing various safety aspects like traffic signages, road markings, pathways, signals etc. and are described below. Traffic signages should be placed at least 200 minus 500 m in advance from the school zone. Road markings. Road markings should be prominently provided along the approach roads to schools and clear directional signs also should be installed on the road as markings. High visibility crosswalk stripping. Various high visibility crosswalk stripping like zebra flatter and continental patterns should be provided so that visibility can be increased near school zones. Various safety devices like road studs slash cat's eyes and retro reflective stickers should be placed near the school zones for better visibility in the nighttime. Traffic calming measures in hospital zones. Various measures that are to be implemented in hospital zones are described below. Feedback signs can be provided for the drivers of the incoming traffic so that their psychological behavior will be changed while approaching the hospital zones. Speed limit signs 30 km slash who minus 40 km slash who should be provided well in advance before entering the hospital zones. Provide various informatory and warning signboards which will alert the road users before reaching hospital zones. Traffic calming measures in high streets. High streets are basically the major streets of the town, or central business districts CBD. As these are always crowded with people and huge volumes of traffic, various traffic calming measures should be taken in order to regularize the traffic flow and improve pedestrian safety. Roundabouts can be installed at high volume junctions in order to reduce the conflict points and traffic signals which will in turn smooth in the traffic flow along the high streets of a CBD. Planting trees along the curbside of the urban streets will improve aesthetics and the drivers also can be alerted while using the busy high streets. There are various other aspects that involve measures for traffic calming, and based on the purpose and requirement they can be used in different places. I hope this video provides you with adequate knowledge of traffic calming measures and their associated features. Please feel free to like, share, and comment.